Hello. It's Sunday, December 20th. It's about 30 degrees. We are back at Black Snake Mountain. Uh, I gotta climb it just to get the little etching. Maybe spit some facts. There's a lot of people here today. So here we are. We're going up uh, Black Snake again, this time in the winter. Um, the original hiking trail was cut by the A and K Railroad Company in 1888. That makes up the second half of the trail, which is just railroad bed. And then in 1921, it was finished and the park was established. And then 1933, the Allegheny School of Natural History, which used to be located at Science Lake, in conjunction with the Civilian Conservation Corps, finished the trail and named it the Nature Hiking Trail. And then in 1980, the park management changed it to Black Snake Mountain Hiking Trail, which is named after an Indian chief from the Seneca Nations who fought alongside the U.S. in the War of 1812. And then in 1850, he had a lot of, in the 1850s, he had a lot of struggles with the white man for uh, land being purchased from the conservation, or from the reservation. And then in 1861, he helped gain the New York State of Appeals Court ruling, which restored the Oil Springs Reservation back to the Seneca Nations. So, it's quite a bit of history in the name of the trail. And the trail itself being one of the oldest in the park. But the big feature is seeing the oil well and then crossing into Pennsylvania for a little bit. I think that's really what attracts most people to hiking this trail. Back of the oil pump, still, uh, still ain't running. Number three. There it is. All right, we're back at the uh, trailhead. Now it's time to head to the next one. All right, we're back at the uh, Red House area. We have the Bee Hunter hiking trail. And uh, we have exactly three hours before sundown. This trail takes an estimated three hours, so let's get moving. So I've been walking this uh, Bee Hunter Trail for about an hour, and it's, it's definitely one of the more like uh, nature-y only trails, because I haven't really seen anything major of note. The, um, the little sheet likes to point out there's hemlock and beech and oak trees, and uh, that you will see a lot of wildlife. I heard a couple birds. And I've seen some uh, some deer tracks and some rabbit and a little bit of fox every now and then. And then there's a, uh, you can see somebody else walk this, uh, I might say two days ago. But this isn't really a feature rich trail other than at one point you cross the namesake of this trail, which is the bee hunter creek and in a 
1990 geological survey map. It was called as Bee Line Creek, which was what you would refer to as uh, tracking bees to find their wild honey. And then the other speculated namesake of this trail is there was a hermit that used to live in the valley in this part of what is now the Allegheny Park that used to trap for furs and scavenge wild honey and they referred to him as the bee hunter. It's also worth noting that this trail was officially laid out and cut in 1934 by the Civilian Conservation Corps. So it's pretty old. Here it is, Bee Hunter Creek. So we didn't make it, we didn't see the uh, yellow marker for number six, but uh, that puts me at two trails left to hike and three trails left to get the marker. Uh, I wanted to get everything done before uh, December 31st and uh, I got two more days of vacation so I think I might burn those and come down here and try to crank out those last three trials. Uh, catch you next time.